actually and this is the most optimal way to actually undervolt your cpu being the ryzen 5700x 3d 5800x 3d whatever actually you can find so we're gonna make this short and sweet shorter than usual and without wasting any further ado let's just get to it so first up what you need to do is to open task scheduler now uh, i tried to do uh, one but it didn't actually work so we are gonna delete it and we are gonna start over uh, let's just open that one up and now let's make a create a task we are gonna call it pbo tuner 2 pbo 2 negative 20 because this is what i'm gonna set the offset to uh so yeah run whether logged in or not do not store password and then windows 10 and we are good to go from here on triggers we're gonna add a new trigger a pc is gonna hold for a second uh we are gonna see on a schedule um now we are gonna make it a uh, log on uh, log on so yeah this is uh there's that when it comes to this we're gonna press ok we're gonna add a new trigger we're gonna see uh on an event we're gonna go to custom new event filter there you go uh by log we are gonna go at windows we're gonna go system by source we are gonna look for power uh, troubleshooter there it is and we are done on that part uh okay now we go to actions we're gonna press new we're gonna look for the pbo tuner 2 there it is open uh, so we're gonna add the arguments here and there's uh, and here's where we uh, Will uh, look at the PBO tuner that we have in here now. I have some problem where it actually doesn't show uh, The values, but that really doesn't affect anything. The values are also there um, If you decided to change it, it will be changed and you'll see right now once we actually restart the PC So uh, basically we're gonna go negative 20 so negative 20 on all the eight cores. So we're gonna write negative 20 uh, eight times. Uh, there you go. We've written it eight times. Now we are gonna go. If you wanna uh, change the limits, you can change uh, from up to down in that order. So each value uh, we have starts from uh, PPT all the way to EDC, then max boost. So if we're gonna do that, uh, the PPT I would go to I believe 75 watts, 80 watts. It's no problem. Uh, the tdc i go to 90 now usually all these uh things i've found in the forums and i found this tutorial used in beefy text video uh, the edc i'm going with 110 and the maximum boost now i'm pretty sure if you are getting the 5700 x3d you wouldn't need to do that uh, but if it is uh crucial to you i'm pretty sure that it will be for around 4100 megahertz so i'm okay going with uh 3850 megahertz for example let's go 3875 and press OK. And then we are gonna go to conditions. You just gonna uncheck that and go to settings. Um, allow it to run on demand, no problem. Stop the task, never stop the task, you know, and never force it to stop. So there's that. Once you restart the PC, it will be working fine. So yeah, that's been a pretty uh, quick one. If you like the video, press on that like button. If you wanna see more videos like that, can subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.